Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, today we're going to do something a little crazy. It's a little off from the normal of what I would do. Uh, I've been debating on whether to show this or not, uh, but uh, my daughter says it's pretty cool, so I thought I'd just go ahead and throw it up. Uh, please don't send me any hate mail. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's kind of interesting. It's actually fun to do, so let's just go ahead and get going. The first thing you probably want to do is go to your options. Type in options down at the bottom. Uh, and hit enter and then you want to go to your uh, units uh, and then you want to change your units from millimeters and don't forget to change it back when you're done uh, doing this kind of stuff so we'll change our millimeters to centimeters uh, so now all our grid is uh, one thing is one centimeter not one millimeter if I type in options oops if I type in the options and click on options and I go to my grid you can see now uh, the the grid the minor grid line spacing of 0.01 centimeters so they've changed right so I'll go ahead and hit OK uh, and then I'll go ahead and grab a uh, polyline curve and I will change that to yellow and I'll work in my front viewport to start with and I'll start at F4 and kind of go out holding down shift a little while and then I'll just kind of make a little shape uh, nothing over to my line yet uh, just kind of getting everything set up so that's uh, 8 centimeters right you can see the CM and then uh, I'll just I'm not going to you could do an arc direction I'm just going to you know this is just for fun anyway uh, and kind of do something like this and I'm gonna hold down shift come over uh, somewhere around here and kind of just keep that shape going down along and then I'm going to take this one past my line right and I'll just grab a line curve and I'll go snap it from the bottom straight up and then I will take this line and I will split it with this line here and hit enter and then delete that and delete this because we don't need it now I'm going to take this everything's sharp right I want to smooth it out so we'll go to our cleanup right here and we'll just clean it up point four should be good and we'll hit enter so now everything's got a little roundedness to it no big deal all right then i'll go back to all my viewports and i'll select my curve and we'll go to surface and revolve and point to revolve our axis is our f4 and we'll just hit enter enter and enter and we'll take that surface and we'll change it to green green and we'll give it some shading here take a look at it now we have a cup <laughs> or a candle holder or whatever you want to uh, call it uh, it's just a little interesting shape you can make uh, like champagne glasses for weddings and then put their names in it or uh, you know all kind of uh, writing uh, you could do it you, there's so much you could do with this uh, and then I'm gonna take that yellow and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it to gray and hide it uh, but we want to add some more spice to it uh, we didn't want to draw it all out so we're just going to take it we're going to turn on our uh, points and then we're going to type in options again and we're going to grab go to our tools bars right here and we'll go down to select points uh, select points uh, where is it select select points and we'll just turn that on and hit OK so now we have this to help us uh, selecting the points I think you might have seen me do that you could also do move UVN uh, but we'll just use this for now. I'm just going to go ahead and take these center points right here and then go to my top here and kind of hold down shift and grab my checkerboard there and drag it out a little and it's okay. Now I have a little funny base there. It's kind of bowed out a little bit, right? Uh, but you can you can sit here and play around with this uh, like crazy. Uh, we can select all those going around we can uh, go to the top, we can drag them in, we can drag them out. So we'll drag them out uh, and then we'll go ahead and just select these, these, swing it around here, select these and we'll select these here and we'll go to our uh, top here, hold down our, and we'll just kind of bring those in so it gives us something like that. 
uh, and then we'll go ahead and select this point here and we'll go ahead and select all those going around and we'll just kind of bump it up a little bit give it a little uh, pizzazz in there uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, let's just grab these here and we'll kind of go to the top here again and uh, actually we can just go to all viewports so we can see what's going on as we do it uh, and uh, hold down shift we can drag it out drag it in just kind of giving it uh, a little more shape kind of cool huh uh, and uh, I mean there's so much you could do it's just unbelievable uh, we'll go ahead and select these points just to play around with it show you what we can do with it we'll select all these points swing it around select all these points and select all these points and we'll drag them in a little now we have a totally different shape, right? I mean, there's, there's just so much you can do with this. It's, it's not even funny. Uh, all kinds of different shapes you can get going on. So we'll take those. We'll take those. Kind of swing it around. Take all these here. And we will take all these. Ah! That's what happens sometimes. Go back. No big deal. Take these. Okay, so we have those, right? I think we've got them all. Let's turn it back to our shaded mode. And we'll just kind of drag those out. Well, a little bit. Just kind of getting a different shape and you can just sit there and play around <laughs> with it. Uh, it's, it's just really, it's actually good practice. Uh, just to sit there and uh, get to know what about the points a little bit more or whatever. But you can get uh, all kinds of different shapes going on with it. And you can come up with something pretty crazy. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's, and I actually, if you wanted to, you could always just go and, uh, you know, to get a totally different shape. Let's see, go back, something like this here. You could go back and you could rebuild with different points. So it has 49, so you could take it and, uh, I don't know, do like a th 41 and see what it does. And it gives you a total different item as well. And you could always go back and turn on your points and do all kind of crazy stuff with it. So we'll go ahead and select this one this one this one this one and that one that one and select all those kind of drag it up a little bit give it a little indentation there uh, but yeah you can sit here and play around with this all day long uh, it's it's just kind of cool yeah, let's see I'll take those take these over here and we'll swing it around and take these here and kind of drag them in now we have something totally different right so yeah I, I just wanted to show it uh, I don't know if I should have <laughs> uh, but uh, it's it's pretty cool actually it's pretty interesting there's lots you could do with it uh, but hope you uh, liked it uh, if not uh, well I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, but thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Good designing.